Good morning, everybody. It's time to start your day off with another delicious edition of Texas Oatmeal. Let's go. Perfect. So today we're starting off with a little update, a garage update. So my Scion and my BMW have had um, an addition to the family uh, and it's a pretty cool one. So I went to the LA Auto Show, if you've watched my last three videos you'll know all about the LA Auto Show, how long it was and how ridiculous the hours were. We were sitting right next to a vehicle the whole week. Well, whatever it was, 10 days. So I'm sitting here staring at this car for 10 days and I decided that I really want one. I did a lot of research and uh, found a dealer here in Texas. So I sat there and when we were slow, I was doing a little bit of research and I found out that uh, I really think this thing is cool and I think you guys are gonna like it too. Um, but one of these cars has to go. I've got a three car garage and I don't mind having three cars, but I don't like the price that comes with three cars. Uh, I don't make a ton of money. I budget real well, so I do what I can. But uh, yeah, I don't really want to have three cars. I've been in that situation before and it gets awfully expensive and you never really have time to drive all three. Uh, so I'm not the kind of guy with a three car garage with three cars in it. It's just not practical. I'd rather have my shop side of the garage open for me to do whatever I want. Uh, so one of these cars has to go. You know, the Scion ha is paid for, it's paid for itself, basically. Uh, you know, it doesn't cost hardly anything to own it, so getting rid of it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Might as well keep it, it's a great running little car. Uh, and the BMW, uh, it's electric. So, and the amount of gas that it saves me every month uh, by being able to just plug it in and go and go thousands of miles just on electricity before I really ever end up having to put any gas in it because this is the range extender edition kind of the cheater car I uh, I don't really want to get rid of it either uh, so I don't know something's got to go and uh, I think honestly it's gonna have to be the Scion for one I owe money on the BMW I haven't owned it long enough to really be right side up on it. So we're gonna keep making payments on the BMW. But Scion paid for it. And I got a buddy at work that wants it. So kind of good timing. He's ready to buy now. And uh, we're gonna sell it to his son or really sell it to him. He's gonna give it to his son or whatever. I don't care. Um, but he wants to buy it. He's gonna give it to his like 16 year old son. Maybe he's only 15 right now. <clears throat> uh, and it's gonna be a great little car for him. It's an awesome car for anybody to, to get into and have as their first car. Super dependable, tons of storage, uh, cheap to maintain. I mean, you name it, that sign's been awesome. So it's gonna go to my buddy Robert and then his son. Uh, so, moment of silence for the Scion. Okay, so it's time to introduce you to the new car. So some people are gonna say, well, this isn't a car. I mean, how can it be a car if it doesn't have a roof or doors? There's only two fenders on it, which makes you think, well, maybe it's a motorcycle. But it's not a motorcycle because you sit in it and have a steering wheel just like a regular car. So, or what they call an auto cycle. We're sitting next to these things all day long, every day at the LA Auto Show. And I just really started to love it. And when I found a dealer in Texas, here in McKinney actually, uh, right down the street from Traxxas, I decided that I had to have one. It's not that, that's Tony's car. So here it is.
And here it is. So this is the Vanderhall Venice. It is three wheels. It is front wheel drive. I know people are gonna think that's not very cool, but I tell you what, it's awesome to drive. So three wheel drive, or haha. <laughs> so three wheel car, single sided swing arm, right? Just with the mono shock back here. These are 18 inch, 285, 30 rear tires, and I think a 225 front tire with an 18 inch wheel. I believe that's right. Um, push rod style suspension, cantilever suspension in the front, the shocks under there. You can kind of see it there. This is a 1.4 liter turbocharged GM engine. It's kind of like out of their Chevy Sonic. Um, this is the second version of the Vanderhall. Uh, the first one was the Laguna. It was way more expensive because all the body panels were carbon fiber. These are just plastic, you know, which is fine. It keeps the cost down for sure. Uh, doesn't really add much to the weight because this thing only weighs just under 1,500 pounds. With the little 1.4 liter turbo that's in this thing, it will do zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds and it's front wheel drive so it's moving uh i love that it looks rear wheel drive even though it's front wheel drive but i get it they did a an engine out of a chevy sonic and it had the powertrain and, and everything just to make it front wheel drive it was easy uh it's simple this one was used it only had a little over 3,000 miles on it when i got it they are automatic Oh, it looks like a shifter, uh, but it's an automatic, just normal, you know, park, reverse, neutral drive, you know, kind of deal. You've got like a Tiptronic thing you can do with it where you can push down on the shifter and get it all the way back into manual. And there's a little bump shifter that you can put right here that, um, well, with your left hand, whatever. When you're sitting in here, you can shift, you know, upshift and downshift with this little bump shifter. It's cool and all. It's a thousand dollar upgrade. And this one didn't have it. And I don't think I'm going to put it on there. I just don't see the need. A lot of people say that they don't use it. It's probably cool. It looks amazing because it really throws you off because there's a silver handle there and that. And so people have no idea why there's two. So that's pretty cool. But other than that, I don't know that I would ever use it, you know. And some guy makes paddle shifters for it, which are kind of cool. But I don't know. They don't look very good. They kind of take away from this old school, unique look. But the things I've done to this so far, besides, you know, repping the Texas oatmeal, of course, I went ahead and installed the clock because, you know, you got to be able to tell time. Put in the plates on the bottom here. Those are um, dead pedal plates. They look nice. They maybe protect the carpet a little bit or something. I don't know. They just look cool more than anything. Uh, and I did this glove box. Yeah, side pipes on it. It's got uh, dual exhaust, you know, one here, do, 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 do. one here, of course. Um, they're pretty loud. I mean, there's not, I don't think there's really any muffler on it. It's just, I mean, I think it's just kind of open. I mean, if there's a muffler, it's literally the pipe. I, I don't know. But the, the intake is way up here. You can actually see it here, maybe. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. You can't see it. The intake's right up at the top. So as you're driving this thing around, you've got all the intake noise coming from there as the turbo is just sucking in air and then the exhaust right by your head. So it's pretty loud. And this is the stock exhaust. They make a three inch exhaust too. Uh, I want it. I don't know why, just as it sounds cool. But yeah, <clears throat> so front end's got, you know, regular headlights and other LED. They're tucked behind the grill. They've got them lined up where they pretty much fit between the the fins, I, I don't know, they're not perfectly lined up where I think they should be, but you know, whatever, they work. They were definitely bright on the first night home. When I drove home, it was, uh, you know, middle of the night, whatever, it was like late, and plenty of people flashed their brights at me. But intercooler, um, you know, a little baby one, but it's just a little baby turbo, so it's no big deal. Again, front wheel drive, there's the axle, a huge sway bar, this thing has like zero body roll. Um, you can take a corner in this thing just right now on a dime. 
uh, it's it's pretty awesome. If you have two seat, you sit shoulder to shoulder in here. I mean, it's it's tight. Uh, you're not gonna get two bigger people in here. Uh, I'm not a little skinny thing, but I fit pretty comfortably in the seat. Um, one of my roommates is like six one or whatever, and pretty broad shoulders. We sat side by side, and it's really too tight to be comfortable for the two of us to be in there. But most of the time, I'm gonna be driving this thing by myself. I'm sure. Uh, gas cap here, no big deal there. Nothing special. Just regular old gas cap. Already got the GoPro set up to go drive around in it. Uh, oh, and I did install a cup holder. So that cup holder is not factory. I bolted it down to this plate. This plate just covers the transmission cable. Um, but bolted that down in there. It's pretty secure. Uh, just needed something that was um, going to hold my monster, uh, which it does a... It does a great job holding that, so that's pretty cool. It does have heat, um, no AC, um, but heat. You turn it on here, you pull this out to actually open the vent, and then you change the speed off in three positions. One, two, three, yep. Off in three position switch here. Uh, this is uh, Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth audio. There's no radio in it, um, but you set that. Uh, to your phone and just play Bluetooth through there, which is what I do pretty much in every car anyways. I don't really listen to the radio that much, and if I do, I use a radio app. So, you know, that's fine for me. Heated seats to go along with the heat. Uh, evidently, they get really, really hot. I haven't even used them yet, so I don't know. Uh, I might use them today. It's pretty chilly outside. It's been pretty chilly the last week or so since I bought this, and I haven't even driven it other than home and into the garage. Uh, so it's just been sitting here. It's beautiful in the afternoons right now, but it's really cold in the morning. So I didn't feel like freezing on my way to work. So that's it. Like I say, this is a 2018 Vanderhall Venice, three wheeler. People are gonna think I'm crazy for buying this, but uh, hey, I don't care. I didn't buy it new. I saved quite a bit of money. Maybe not as much as I would have liked, but uh, you know, hey. I felt like it was a pretty good deal, so I got it. Uh, and we're gonna make some cool content with this. All right, so let's get out and take it for a little test drive. Uh, but first, we gotta do a cold start. 